Hi, in this video we will discuss using Azure AD users and groups as admins for Azure SQL Data Warehouse. As you know, Azure SQL Data Warehouse depends on a logical server that we have to create as a prerequisite for the Data Warehouse and adding the admin is a function or a property of the server itself, logical server itself. So the very first thing that I need to go to do is to go to the server and you can see it here as a feature, Active Directory Admins. In the Active Directory Admins, all what we need to do is to set the admin. I've created a group that has one user for now and it's called DB Admins this group inside my Azure Active Directory. This group can be an online only group or a group that is synced from an on-prem uh, Active Directory. So selecting this one, save. Done. By now we have a group and any user of this group can connect to uh, this instance uh, of, um, of Azure SQL Server using Azure Active Directory. How to do this is to go to our management studio as an example of a client and then change the authentication to Active Directory. The username, I can use any username that is a member of this group. So in this case, I'll use this username the Azure AD authentication will show up. And here you go. I have access to my uh, Azure SQL Data Warehouse here. Here, as you can see, I'm logged into the same uh, instance of Azure SQL Server using two credentials. The first credential using uh, SQL uh, authentication. The second one is using uh, Azure AD and I can see my Azure AD account, the complete account here. Uh, if I open a new query window, I can see here uh, my Azure AD identity. However, you will not see the Azure AD either in logins or inside your database users. Sorry, not tables. Users you will not see it as well here. Even if you try something like Sys database principles, catalog view, you will not see this one here. And that's for the uh, Azure AD admins for this server. Uh, right now, I'm logged in using an admin, like Sys admin permissions. And if I'm inside the database and I did something like uh, select S user, um, user name the function I can see my username as the Azure ED account all right so the next step is to add users other than the admin. So normal users, not admin permission, just users to be added to the uh, Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Now to create a user, we have to pay attention to the, uh, the context of the database. If the context in our query window here is the master database, then the users that we are creating will, will access the server, but will not, be, will not be able to access our user database or uh, in our case here, it's Azure SQL Data Warehouse, will not be able to access Data Warehouse AdventureWorks. So I have to be inside AdventureWorks and then I will create uh, a user. So create user, uh, what's the username? In this case, it's already a group, an Azure AD group. And if you wanna see it quickly here, we'll go to Azure Active Directory, groups, and I can see DB users. This is a security group that I just created in preparation for this demo. So DB users from external provider. 
okay so right now we have created this user can we connect using this user yes now this is a group i have to connect using a user that is a member of this group which i have one here why because i did not choose it gives me like a error login failure because i have i only created this user inside the adventure works so i have to choose the adventure works database as part of the connection connect now i'm connected i'm inside my database here i can open a new query window and now i'm connected using this user that is part of the db um, users group okay so this user omar here i'm connected to the adventure works let me check select start from system tables i don't see any table names and if i go here I don't see any table names because I don't have any permissions to read any data on this database now typically to add uh, a user to a database role we use the um, alter role statement however in Azure SQL data house there is an exception we will not be able to use alter role if you use the alter role statement it will give you <coughs> a parsing error uh, what we need to do is to use the old uh, syntax uh, uh, SP add role member and in this case we have the we need to provide two uh, strings the first one is the, the database role name I'm gonna use DB data reader and the, the database principal in this case it's the DB underscore users done if I go back to my uh, query window here execute now I'll be able to read the table names and if I'm selecting data from one of the tables I'll be able to read the data from this table so to recap we uh, used Azure AD to create um, an admin account we use this admin account to create another uh, group uh, Azure AD group as a user inside our database and give this user permission to read our uh, database as part of the um, DB data reader group. Thank you.